Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get rockin' and rollin' to one of the greatest American screen machines in America, which is located in one of the oldest theme parks in America, Lake Compounds. Yes, we all know it's not as big as Six Flags, but who cares? It's located off 84 in Bristol, Connecticut. It is one of the greatest roller coasters of all times. Boulder Dash. Uh, no, not the video game. I'm talking about the American screen machine, Boulder Dash. Now, I know they also the Wildcat is located there, which is the oldest wooden coaster in that park. I'm not saying that coaster sucks, but this one overshadows it by a long shot. And why is that? Well, let's talk about it. And you can tell instantly, I'm Boulder Dashed up, baby. Woo! I'm Boulder Dashing it. So let's talk about it. The coaster was first opened in 1999 as one of the greatest American screen machines, and it was talked about that the coaster finally got named Boulder Dash. Yeah. Why is it called Boulder Dash, you might ask? Well, because it's the only coaster in that park to be built on a mountain. Because there was a huge mountain on the back of that park, which also had a ski lift before and a log flume. Kind of weird, though, that the log flume was built separate from the water park on all the way on the other side of the park. Yeah. Kind of weird, right? But yeah, this coaster has the most unique and awesome design. The first lift hill and drop is actually built into the woods. As you go up, you go all the way up, 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 over 100 feet. You can't even see most of the park. In fact, you can't even see this whole thing. It's like if you take one look at it, you'll see tracks, tracks, few tracks. You can't even see the whole thing. It's hidden behind foliage. And to me, that's awesome. That's a pretty creative and unique design right there. So, yeah, you go up about 100 feet. You go and rip down 65 miles an hour down the track. You're screaming down on all the G-forces and airtime and all those drops and up, down, bunny hill lifts and all the way around from one side of the park to the other. Awesome design. And also, be sure to pick up your picture of the ride, of you screaming at the last drop of that ride, just at the end of the attraction. Yeah, there's a camera. You might see it, may not, but make sure that you don't stick your right arm up in your face, because then you won't be seen. I did that once and, well, went out again, tried to get the brief picture. So, be sure to go on the attraction. Believe me, it's well worth it. No. Don't go on Wildcat and say that's the best, because it's not. This coaster beats it by a long shot, and I really mean it. So, well, before we go, let's take a virtual tour. That's awesome, right? So, whoa, before I go, I gotta give a Wii Remote review. Boulder Dash, no doubt about it, rocking two Wii Remotes way up. So, till next time, keep riding.